to be like the whole thing just at no point yeah where, where the hell are traits so yeah so we'll, we'll leave that i mean we know that traits in the beginning are the same as picking the uh the I, I would assume that they at least fall cost 10. yeah under the same category the only one that's different is boons and boons is you know five to ten so yeah all right free league uh if you ever re like revise this book maybe maybe think about the layout a bit better I know you didn't do it, but you know if you do decide to revise it. Well, yeah. one one thing that should be on every GM screen is a table <laughs> notating experience. In my 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 you know uh, opinion, I mean there's a lot of uh, great information on here, but there, to me there should always be something of you know rewards and experiences. But but you know beautiful front. Um, so I, I couldn't see it because the background just kept like showing <laughs> up on screen. it. Well, oh, green screen, but yeah. Uh, no, um, no, no, there now, no. I'll, I'll, oh, go. look at that! Uh, ah. <laughs> ah. All right, so okay, so as far as the the traits and abilities, who who has left to pick uh, their uh, those? As far as just the name value, it's, uh, entering the information in, we can do that on our own time. So, how many traits but, uh, do I get? So, wow. if 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 you look under your race. There, there's, there's, there should be a couple to pick from. Mm -hmm. uh, if you wanted to get any extra, uh, they're going to count towards the same novice aspect as ability. So if there's an ability you didn't want, but you'd rather get a trait instead, you can swap that out if you like. Oh no, I'm all so, right. I'm all right. So do I get one for free then? Uh, yes, or it, it, notated on your race. Yes. So, okay. So, and then can I? So does and what level does that start at? Uh, well, it depends on, on what it is. So if we go into in the description, some traits don't level up. Some traits are just, you know, singular, uh, whereas others do have the different tiers. So if we if we look under the trait information. Yeah, here, I was shape shifter mm -hmm. and survival instinct have different levels. But right. no, I, went for, I went for contact. Mm -hmm. That kind of fits with your character concept quite well. I think it's someone that deals with uh, antiquities, you know. You know, like a fence, but a bit more legitimate than a fence. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, isn't that? Why are you, all why are you smiling? Are? Why are you smiling? No smiling I, you're, you're, out here. You're 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 falling right into. Is your starting weapon going to be a whip? What? I said Fedora. Starting... No. Don't be yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna have a hat and he's gonna throw it like odd job. No, I'm not. I'm not being Indiana Jones. You know, you can be a treasure hunter. No, no, you can't. No. You can I'm be an archaeologist and not be Indiana Jones. Exactly. There's a like, there's a Lara Croft as well. <laughs> I was just gonna say. <laughs> I was about to say like. Right, I, 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 are, are you Lara Croft or are you Indiana Jones? <laughs> Neither. That's not an option here. So what do we do now? Okay, so so moving on. Oh um, yeah, actually, so, I didn't I didn't get my question answered. So what is con what is co what's contacts? Is it a novice or what is? It? I don't really understand what it comes under. I don't it, think it has. It a, doesn't technically a come under. It don't have different levels. It don't have yeah. levels. Okay. Uh, I I have a short lived that thing that I have. I don't. Right. Know. So Very contact cool. contact. You have some contact. You have somebody that you know somewhere. Preferably a non-player character, right? I don't because yeah. it's a bit pointless. Damn it, where? I just uh... basically right. the skill description it... says with a successful roll against persuasive, the character can call to mind a contact that should be able to help with a specific question or to a precarious situation. So That's you might know somebody yeah. when you the chips are down. You might know Indiana Jones. I know. Help. I know Jeff. Jeff. Jeff lives around here. <laughs> There's always a Jeff. <laughs> so yeah, so it's uh, that, and that's why I keep overlooking because traits is only literally you know two and a half pages. And uh, did we work out experience as well? Did you did you figure out experience? Yes. So I'm I'm going to compile it all, but essentially it, it it falls under the same kind of ten point buy system. Um, and as far as um, increasing your um, uh, your, you know, your, your, your physical, um, uh, aspects, you would buy a particular ability 
with 10 points, 20 points, 30 points to increase your accurate, cunning, quick, whatever, up to a maximum of 18. So yeah, so there's not, it's not an overall point by system where you can apply it anywhere. You use the points to buy a trait, ability, boon, and then certain abilities will increase your accurate, cunning, discrete, pervasive, and so on. All right. Oh, well, that's yep. cool. Okay. So the, the next aspect is, uh, oh, let me get back here. Sorry, I'm looking through the, the darn book. Okay, so going with that, uh, one of the important things within the world of, of you know, of Simber Room is the circumstances of corruption. Um, you know, you, you are surrounded by various degrees of corruption. Corruption exists in the forest, corruption exists within, you know, the, uh, the, the royalty and the leadership. And also there's a, you know, a large amount of corruption to the South. What does it look like? From. What does corruption What's look that? like? What does corruption look like? Uh, corruption is, is the, the, the darkening and blackening of your soul. It could be something just, just inward that people can see through, which is what we're going to be coming to next is your shadow. Okay. Uh, which can be seen by certain people, uh, but as corruption, as if as if you become more and more corrupted, it will uh, show itself as physical aspects. Okay. Of, of varying varying degrees. So so, so a bit so, like so a bit like uh, Fable, the game Fable, right? The video game. Similar Fable? to that, exactly, exactly. I mean, it, it's 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 a lot more you know decrepit and you know uh, things as such. But you're so. So the next thing you have is, you know, your shadow. Your shadow indicates which of the three primal principles a character has the strongest bond to. So, um, so certain things can see a shadow if you have the ability, like witch sight or a ritual called holy smoke. Uh, creatures that are close to nature have shadows that range in colors of green, red, or white. While shadows of civilized people tend to appear in gold, silver, or copper. Uh, many who dwell in the southern parts of Davakar uh, have mixed, mixed nature of their shadows, uh, a mixed combination. Uh, the shadows of true blight beasts are abysmally black, while a corrupted creature of nature is revealed to be sickly spots on green, red, and streaks of rust, ash and gray among the white. So in, most, in the case of corrupted creatures of civilization, the shadows tend to be a chipped gold and so on. So... A character's shadow is closely connected with a character's level of corruption, a circumstance that mystics should be made aware of. So, so most people, I mean, the, the shadow really, is, there's designations here depending on, you know, the type of character that you want to be. So it would, it would have been helpful if they had the, the list of shadows here, but let me go ahead and, and locate it real quick. Oh, jeez. Tells me one okay. unless someone else has found it. I, I am not the PDF master that Jaywell is. What are we looking for, sir? Uh, I'm looking for for aspects of shadow. I think it's up to up to the player, right? To, to it the... is okay. Here we go. The, here, so <clears throat> okay. Creatures of nature tend to be green, red, and white. Hi, sometimes on. with other bright prime colors Where civilized creatures yep sorry where is this mm -hmm. this is shadow sorry no. this is this is this is the shadow and that so the, here let me just read the roles of shadow real quick for you okay so the ongoing struggle between civilization's desire to tame the wilds and the corruption born out of over exploration is a fundamental theme in simba room the primary purpose of shadows is to introduce the players to these great forces and the dynamic that exists between them your shadows are going to have two main functions. First, individuals with the witch side ability can see through deception and deceit by actively using this ability. Second, I can use this element to infuse the world with both life and soul to portray, to portray these grand and obvious conflicts in a more personal and spiritual way. So whatever shadow color you pick, when you become introduced or, or take corruption, your shadow will start to corrupt also. So it won't be outwardly so, but people who can see the shadows will be able to see your corruption. So for those who are civilized, gold, silver, copper, sometimes other metallic shades, uh, creatures of nature who are, or who are close to nature, green, red, and white, sometimes other bright prime colors. 
So those would generally be the color aspects of what you would like to pick. What uh, the... Immediately in the game, it's not going to play any aspect. It's just there to determine your particular color. You can have it mean whatever you would like. Oh, okay. So there's no meaning to the color. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, but I mean, but confused. it's something to notate. So when I start corrupting it, if you guys become corrupting, so you know, if you, if you pick red, you know, you know, as as you would degrade, aspects of the red might change, or other things would apply to it. Specks of black, you know, ash, ash and go... gray might show up. That kind of thing. I will go green. Okay. Green, green three three leaf, you know, leaf kind of color. Leaf. Okay. Yeah, me too. And I guess uh, the more corruption I get, the more wither it it gets, perhaps. Right, exactly. If if I mean it's mm. it's also up to you. I mean, this would be the aspect where if, if you become corrupted, how do you want your shadow to show? Uh, it's but, a leaf. You know, well, I've got an yeah. idea. I've got an idea. So mine starts sure. gold, right? Mine starts gold because you know you I'm can very... be gold, silver, copper, or other metallic type shades. I'm very gold orientated. You know, I'm a bit like you know because I'm looking for like wealth and shit like that. But mm -hmm. uh, as my shadow gets corrupted, it turns more like stone like and colorless and like less less goldy. Okay. Am I supposed and, to like and... that shit? Yeah. No. I mean. Your starting aspect. I mean, it, it's you, you don't need to write that down as far as the corruption is concerned, because some of you may not touch on it that much. The spellcasters usually have to worry about it depending on how they utilize it, but it's more when you come in contact with it. Uh, things can corrupt you, objects can corrupt you, situations can corrupt you. Is it supposed uh, to look <clears> like something? Yeah. Sorry, so, I've been an absolute so yeah, so, pain. Mm -hmm. I've been a pain. I'm really sorry. Is it supposed to look like something? like you know like an aura essentially okay. like like an aura all right yeah i'm gonna go with gold then my aura's gold okay but ultimately as you become perfectly corrupted it will it's going to fall into a more black purple thing all right. so so yeah so even if your even if your gold becomes lifeless gray then it will start to twist into getting darker and blacker it's that kind of thing so you know like 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 you know those with green it would start to look sickly you know uh, that, that aspect corrosion for for some of the metallics. I'm really confused. I don't know if I've done this right. Can you look at my character to see if I've done things right? Mm -hmm. Please. Okay. Da, 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 da. Your quote. I'm not famous yet. Excellent. Go shadow gold. Uh huh. That all looks good. What am I supposed to put in the attributes? What am I supposed to put in this? What 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 effects am I supposed to put in? Where are you where are you looking at, James? So we're on the abilities, you know, hit. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Well, where have we in the word here? Like, what do mm -hmm. I put there? So within the book, this this is there's the description. So this is where we could copy and paste the description of it from the the PDF. Okay. I think. And once again, up to you. Uh, as I'm going through the sheets, if I see something blank like this, with your permission, I will do it for you. I mean, it's just, just, you know, it, I, everyone can do their their own aspect of this. But if, if I see certain things like that, that's not going to change your character at all. Just to be helpful, I may fill it in as we go. So, yeah, does that's, it, mm -hmm. so because, so for example, right? So just so I can understand this, all right? Yep. I'm just trying to get my sure. head around this. So, for example, acrobatics, I've got as novice, adept, mm -hmm. adept. I mean. So what I need to do is change that to what a free action because adept is free, mm -hmm. right? But do yep. I get the reaction one from the novice as well? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Everything stacks. And what does? Yeah, you don't. And it says select attribute. What I'm... do I select an attribute for this? Yeah, there should be there should be a. a um... An attribute associated with acrobatics, which would be, um, <clears throat> which should be quick. Quick, yeah. Okay. Because so... with, within the within the game, when you pick certain things, there there are set attributes to certain aspects, but you can get abilities that will allow you to pick something. You can use something different. So that's 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 why instead of using quick, you could use you might be able to use strong. Without pulling up reference, without pulling up the references within here, um, depending on you know whether it's an adept or master or a separate ability that allows you to choose something, you there there should be an ability associated with it. 
um, and it it does and it doesn't. Most of the time, it probably doesn't matter what you put there unless you're going to roll right. it. It's just for reference. Right. So so like, within yeah yeah look within the the actual reaction. So yeah, this is you're going to roll against quick. So it's it, it's in the description. Unfortunately, it's not in the header, which. Okay. Yep. All right. I, f I don't know if I've done it right, but that's fine. No, it's, yeah, the, these are the aspects of the game that's going to take a little bit more, it's a little bit more time consuming just because it's not fleshed out. You know, they, they have the sheet here, but like some sheets they have, you know, you click on something and it's, there's your information. Others we have to kind of copy and paste them in there. But, but the ability that you'll roll, for example, acrobats, it's going to tell you the character may roll against quick to avoid free attacks. So, whereas other things, if you become adept in it, it may allow you to roll, make, you get to choose. So, if, if adept, if, if, for example, if adept told you you could roll against something else, we'll just say resolute, James. Yeah. If you were going to apply acrobatics to a scenario, you would be able to tell me which you would be rolling in order to accomplish it. Okay. It would be an optional thing. So, and that can be, that effectively could be. Well, and that's that's where the that's where the bookkeeping aspect of this game gets a little heavy in the character sheet. So, and if you have an optional uh, uh, ability uh, or an optional you know skill set, you would probably want to make two different fields. You know, so if acrobatics novice, you would have quick, whatever. Then you would have acrobatics adept if you were using a different uh, ability for it for the role. So, okay. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think so. All right. So, yeah. So, I mean, he's. Who's, who's uh, Xerox or Zeras? Tadux. That's me. Okay. Those are bad That's roles. The name of my... <laughs> yeah. I've been failing every role. Right. So, so yeah. So there's no ability. He just rolled for marksman. He didn't have an an ability an attribute associated for the ability. So, you know, within the description of it, it would. It, but that's something that they. It would be nice if they just had it in the header. Okay. So moving on. For everyone has five, um, uh, Thaler to begin with, unless they pick a different much, uh, trait. How much is uh, Thaler worth in uh, shillings and or thing? It is worth uh, 15, 15 uh, ortegs. No. Um, so here's the here's the breakdown of the money. Yeah. Uh, do we do we get starting equipment? Like, do we start you with do. shit? Yeah. Yeah. Your so if you in your archetype, uh, it it will notate starting equipment. So, and then as noted within, on page 78, within the equipment uh, aspect, all characters start with camping gear consisting of a sleeping roll, cooking equipment and firewood, uh, trinkets associated to your backstory may be added at no cost, you know, a deck of cards, pipe and tobacco, fishing rod, a case of bait, a signal horn, that kind of thing, uh, memorabilia, um, you know, a, if you're looking for someone, you, if you may have some of, your, some of their possessions, um, abilities such as uh, alchemy, beast lore, lore master, poisoner, and tactician are likely to be accompanied by books regarding these things or scrolls to reference. Uh, when it comes to starting weapons, you, know, you receive the weapon or weapons associated with a sp specific ability for free, as well as a dagger. Mm -hmm. uh, should a character lack abilities or powers that are based on weaponry, then he or she may instead start with any of the following combinations. A, a sturdy staff and a dagger, uh, a single-handed weapon and a dagger, or a ranged weapon and a dagger. Uh, other than weapons, a character starts with an, with an ordinary light armor. Uh, if you would want heavier armor that he or she has to purchase it with your own starting funds, it may be wise to purchase armor with the flexible quality should you be able to afford it. Mystics can buy themselves a witch gown, a wizard's cloak, or a priestly robe. Uh, so you say you start with uh, ordinary armor? Uh, armor? Yes, with ordinary light armor. Unless uh, you have which, like mana arms. Right. Which which will do um, 
So here, sorry. Let me get to that. Yeah, so 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 there is four light armors. Do I get to mm -hmm. choose one of them or, or correct? So so yeah, so I mean it's the the aspect of the armor is based upon a lot of your archetypes. So you know the spellcaster was what you know, a witch gown or an order cloak or a blessed robe within the information there it provides. Essentially what it what it's telling you is is they are not really armor, they're blessed or have a magical or mystical aspect to it, but still provides the same protection as light armor. Uh where as opposed to just, you know, regular uh well in, in this in this aspect. But no no woven silk, right? That that is finest light armor available. Right, that... exactly. Okay. I mean unless you have the money for it. So no, it's ten dollars. So right. So so essentially, the general light armor, hardened, ringed, and studded leather are examples of light armor. Which which you say? Uh, uh, examples. So hardened, hardened ring, ring, studded, studded leather. leather. Yeah. So within this game, they 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 have categories, but it's kind of up to you to provide the um, the flavor of the armor that you're wearing. Uh huh. So, okay. Because okay. it, it's just. Because it provides a certain amount of protection from you. Light provides a D4, medium provides a D6, and heavy provides a D8. And because, uh, okay, so light, and then what, what does impeding minus two mean? So in, in, impeding is going to give you a negative two uh, to specific roles. Um, Unless, unless there's a, a a quality associated with it. So base light armor uh, is is going to impede you at a negative negative two on, on certain die rolls regarding, you know, uh, the armor hampers any agile movement and gives a penalty to test against defense, sneaking and the use of mystic powers. So essentially, if you know, if you're a thief and you're wearing this armor, the creaking, the rattling of the you know of, of the metal or the leather is going to provide you a penalty on your roll. Likewise, if you're a spellcaster, similar to Dungeons and Dragons, it's harder to cast uh, within leather aspect as opposed to the mystical robes that, the, that they can have at the, at the beginning of the game. Okay. Uh, and I didn't, I don't think I got the, how much is one uh, taller? How much is one taller in shillings and what? Yep. Just had that up here. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> so, the currency in the game consists of shillings, ortegs, and thaler. So, 10 ortegs makes one shilling. 10 shillings okay. makes one, one thaler. Okay. So, so thaler, one, thaler ten, is gold, ten. thaler is gold, yeah. shillings is silver, and ortegs are copper. And so. it's one ten hundred. So, one thaler will be. 100 or tag, I guess. Right. 10 shillings. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And uh, we start again with five shillings. Can we spend the five shillings already or oh, yeah. no, the five dollars or, and we can pick anything in the armory right now? Or right. I mean, I most. Do... I mean, yeah, most things as far as beginning beginning are concerned, yeah. I mean, anything that's on here is is generally going to be available to you, but depending on your archetype, I mean, if you're you know if if you're an assassin type character that deals with poison, yeah, I'll, I'll I would let someone buy you know weak, moderate, or strong poison. But if that's not within your archetype, it, those are things that wouldn't necessarily be available to you in the beginning. That kind of thing. Because so. the archetype, the ranger archetype, don't comes with any. Uh, extra, uh, what's the name? Equipment. Well, other other than the beginning equipment that that I just noted. So camp, yeah, 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 yeah. Camping gear, sleeping roll, um, and then likewise, uh, if you have a weapon ability, uh, you get a specific weapon for free as well as a dagger. You know, so sh should a character lack that ability or power that are based on weaponry, then you get to start for free. Uh, a sturdy staff and a dagger, a single-handed weapon and a dagger, or a ranged weapon and a dagger. Uh, I also get a dagger, even if. Yeah. 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 yeah everyone. Everyone gets gets at least a free weapon, and a dagger. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. okay. Sure weapons must be a dagger, right? I sure don't know how to use them, but who cares? Oh, and yeah, yeah, they actually have a table here that 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 fits with the category. So real quick, if you have the man at arms ability, you you get to, you get to start with medium armor. If you have marksman, it's a crossbow or a bow. Uh, pole yeah. arm is a spear. Shield is fighter is a shield. Steel throw is a throwing weapon. Twin attack, one single-handed novice and two-handed weapon adept. Uh, Two-handed force is one heavy weapon, and witch hammer is one single-handed weapon. There's another table in the advanced players guide as well for the extra options in there. There is, okay. So, um, let's see. I start with a bow, no a longbow. Is it different? Because I, I do got marksman. Marksman, yeah. So you have a choice of starting with a um, crossbow or a bow. Uh, is it the difference between a longbow and a bow? Yes. I mean, I know it's a difference, but... Uh, longbow gives yeah, you a plus mechanical. one to attack. Yeah. Yeah, long plus one to attack. Uh, you get a plus one to your attack. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah, so Bows you'll see... You, right. So you'll see weapons as they, they increase in cost, they'll have qualities associated with them that will give uh, you bonuses. There. Bow, yeah. bow. Okay, yeah. Then it's like subclasses of bow. Okay, exactly. So, okay, now I see it. And then, and then One, eight, similar with armor. Then D10 since I have much money. So, mm -hmm. I have mana arms and I have armored mystic. Mm -hmm. Both of them give me medium armor. Mm -hmm. I only need one set of armor. Uh, let's see, medium armor. Uh, let's go ahead and do this then. Uh, and I suppose what would be reasonable for me to have as a Templar because there is additional medium armors in the advanced like double chain mail and laminated armor. Jay, well, where is it in the player's guide, this list of stuff? I, uh, a, the medium armor one, would, would one, unless five, you had, one. right. So, so Very let's, good. let's, we'll use this as an example. So your medium armor, first off, you're going, you have two things that provide you with starting equipment. Let's, yep. let's cash one of those medium armors in for five, five thaler. Okay. So okay. you have an extra five thaler. Your starting equipment is going to be anything that's that's uh, within the armor or weapon is going to be anything that's bold. So, for example, in armor, it's just the straight light armor for two thaler, medium for five, heavy for ten. Um, uh, okay. So, if you want to go up to a to a subcategory, uh, you would want to apply the cost to it. Mm -hmm. So, but the only the only ones who who don't fall under that category are those spellcasters you know they get to they get to pick a blessed robe order cloak which or which gap mm -hmm. if or, I, or if there's anything additional in the advanced players guide. so if i wanted for laminated i would just have to spend 20 i guess it would well it's it's up to you do you if you wanted to uh, i'll i'll allow this if you didn't want to keep your starting armor you would cash that in for whatever the cost would be so yeah, an additional five dollar and just apply it. So, or if you yeah. wanted to keep both, if you want to keep both, you outright pay the cost or just subtract the cost if you wanted to trade in your starting armor or weapon for something better. So, yeah, I'll I'll trade it in. Okay. I I found something useful that they can buy drum. <laughs> and is is everybody know where the the equipment uh, information is? Uh, One fifty one through. Uh, 155 in the core rule so book. It's a bit, and, nah, mm -hmm. So if you ain't got any combat skills, you don't start with anything additional or any... Well, no, no, you do. You do. You, you, you start... If you don't have any combat skills, you're going to start with either a, uh, a quarter staff and a dagger, a one-handed weapon and a dagger, or a longbow and a dagger. Okay. Wow. Dark Fantasy James. All right, you got to so, work right. for those weapons. All right, that, that's that, what's handy about the character sheet. If you didn't look, you actually get you get mm -hmm. a sleeping roll, you get cooking equipment, you get firewood, flint and steel, rope yep. and water skills. Oh, excellent! So they actually they actually yeah, have it's some, uh, on there. They, uh, they have some database in there. That's great. So that's that's going to save another, some typing. Another question, Scott. Mm -hmm. uh, I start with a bow. Do I start also with the uh, arrows? For it, or should I buy the arrow? No, you're 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 going to start with with a with at least a, a quiver of arrows. So okay, okay, yeah, okay. Th that, I'm not going to nickel and dime you to death on that stuff. What? Oh, start starting arrows or bolts. 
I'm not going to nickel and dime you, or whatever the appropriate coinage is over there. To be fair, I use nickel and dime. I'm not even American. <laughs> so. uh, hmm? What hey, attribute yeah, am, uh, am I using for for weapons? Uh, well, it depends on the weapon. Uh, what stuff? Uh, yeah. That that should fall under strong, I believe. Uh, if you do, if you're not skilled in anything, I think. Yeah. Uh, but I I will double check. I think that's because penny and pounding you sounds really dodgy. <laughs> it does. Well, if you're going to go for direct translation of nickel and dime, it, it sounds even worse. Cent in a euro in you is that is that what is a euro is a euro a cent like the smallest decimal? Is it? Is it a cent? I'm gonna ten and five p u or five p and ten p u. Quite have the ring to it as nickel and dime. Penny and quid you. Oh, that still doesn't work. Okay, I got two shillings now. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a drum. Ch you gotta have some music. Yeah. A drum. Yeah. Now, to be fair, that still falls under the the. I would say that would fall under the category of things that you probably would have. I mean, you are allowed a little bit of leeway with starting equipment in okay. regards to things that your character might have due to their background. So, it's uh, a drum, but how is this called? The thing that shamans use. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah. So, so detailed mm -hmm. equipment and artifact. Is that where I write weapons? Right. Hang on, I'm trying to skip. My... No, it's, or do I write that in? Where do I write weapons? Shit. Hang on, I'm confused. Uh, so I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. I'm choosing a single-handed weapon and a dagger. So I'll just. I'll just add. Single-handed weapon. Oh fuck! Who's moved my? Oh, you... sorry, James. I forgot that was yours. Go ahead. Let me close it. I would assume the dagger is a parrying dagger. Mm -hmm. Single-handed weapon. It'll probably be a sword. Handed weapon. Dagger. And I start with five foul there. Where does where does money go? Oh there. Five. Right, and then if I go to equipment, now I can look at shit. Right, I don't I'm not interested in weapons. Also I start with light armour as well, don't I, I think? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unless something gives you extra, yeah. So yeah. do I start? So I so and I choose what sort of armor I'm wearing, right? Yeah, I mean it's 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 up to you. the description of it is up to you. It's just for for the aspect of the game, it's just light armor. It's going to give you a D4 of protection. It's going to give you an impeding quality to it. So in certain roles, you'll have a negative two. Yeah, I was about to ask. Do you have to wear armor? No, you don't. You don't. It's, that impeding is not nice. Mm -mm. If you're trying to be sneaky and stealthy and dexterous, right? Exactly. So, so but the... a D4 protection will keep you alive longer. Right. So, so... Save, saving your money up for something like the woven woven silk might be might be a goal, you know. Um, but yeah, you don't have to wear your armor if if you if you feel it's the 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 impedingness of it is going to be a detriment, but. <clears throat> Oh, okay. All right. I see it now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can't even buy it. A pig. Light armor. Light armor. Oh, I'll spell it with the English, Ray. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Now, I do, do not deny the power of having farm animals. As someone who, who is very skilled in Dungeon Crawl Classics, people who have a pig... Oh. I was or... just about to say, Scott, <laughs> last time I played Dungeon Crawl Classics, my character had a cow. That was all he started with. He had no weapons, but he had a cow. And he actually yeah. survived the longest yeah. out of anybody with a cow. I, 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 I can't buy even half of the animals, so yeah. I, I've, had, I've had people mount, uh, a halfling mount their pig and take out the big bad in a charge. Uh, barely surviving, but yeah, it's it's. Yeah, I, I, was, I was thinking about uh, some kind of transport. So, the best thing I can do is a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
not even a pig, just a sheep. Yeah. Mm. I think I'll buy a one sheep. Oh, I don't need to write the quality of impeding in, do I? Because it's there's impede on on the actual armor thing, right? Mm -hmm. Or should I still write impeding in? I guess I should. You don't. You don't have to. If it if it's if it's applied automatically, yes. But uh, if if not, you don't. You don't need to. And defense is what? 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 <clears throat> oh, where does it's, this... Well, it's 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 in certain roles, to be honest. Uh, so it's it's a it's it's going to give you a penalty to to the test against defense. To de against defense. Right. Sneaky, sneaking and also the use of mystic powers. So, yeah. So if, if I had said, James, I need you to make a defense roll, it would be at a negative two. Yeah, but it's got armor, 1d4. Where do I? Where does that go on the catch sheet? That's, That's negation. Be... Huh? Yeah. Negation. Oh, really? Oh, okay. That's what went negates. Uh, so yeah. how, how the money works? Uh, one shilling is 15 or, or tick. It's it's ten, it's okay. it's jumps of ten. Okay. So it's ten shillings is ten or or is it or tags, and then ten ten or tags are are ten thaler. Okay. I, I like when they make that easy. There's some game where they actually did derivatives of like this is five, this equals eight, this equals yeah like. Yeah. No. Warhammer. Play Warhammer. War Warhammer is like <laughs> old. <laughs> That's yeah, probably what I'm thinking uh, of. Lord of the Rings uses the old. Uh... British coinage system. Same as Warhammer as well. Warhammer uses like pre decimalization money. Yeah. Right, so. But it kind I of makes sense in weapon. the first terms because it's supposed to be Old England. Mm -hmm. So it kind of makes some sort of sense. Yeah. Whereas Warhammer just chooses random stuff and goes with it, which works too. I could buy a, I could buy a canoe. <laughs> is that a canoe? Yes, it is. Everybody's favorite part of part of character creation, the, you know, the, uh, the the shopping. We're on a shopping trip. Where does it tell me the money decim decimalization of, of it? Is there is there? You think it'd be an equipment section, wouldn't you? You think it would tell you like how money's broken up? But it's not. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's derivatives of ten. So Thaler's the top point. So one thaler equals ten shillings. Uh, a shilling you know. is ten pennies, yeah. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So I'm just getting my head round it, all right. So all excuse right. the stupid questions, but you know, that's the way things are. I actually detest shopping in all its forms, including online virtual shopping for games. <laughs> oh, that's, oh. Uh, so I I got the. Um, Ability of alchemy, so I'll get alchemy equipment. Correct. Yes. Basically. Yeah. yeah so that's that's going to be uh, not a uh, secondary cost. You will have that with you. Okay. Plus, I have rope ladders. I don't know where it is, but I'll find it. I mean, and things like that. So, so like James. So some things that you might have, since you're a treasure hunter, you would have things such as, you know, if it's not there, like maybe a grappling hook and rope or. Uh, you know, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, other general equipment, you you know. Um, right. Well, I was, I was I'm going to put. So could so <coughs> potentially could I start with a, a a lantern? Okay. Yeah. A lantern. Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's stuff that yeah I would allow because that's that falls into your character archetype, so that you don't you wouldn't need to to spend money on that. Lantern. Oh, okay. I, I spent some money. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I mean, if if you made the mistake, you you can backtrack that. But I mean, no, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I start. Okay, I got some stuff. You know. I mean, um, but you know, like like with like with Philip, as much as I would love the idea of seeing a goblin riding a pig, uh, generally speaking, you know, maybe you know the pig mount just you know you have to spend money on. But yeah, yeah. No, I bought the sheep. It's fine. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> So what did you buy? Any magical items? Uh, <laughs> yeah, play magical mail? Sheep. No, I've got a sheep. <laughs> so did anyone buy a casserole? That's 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 my first question. So I might have to buy a few pots if we've got a sheep. 
Because there you go. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, bring, bring, bring along your own food. Mm -hmm. uh, I do like, though, that it, it is a base equipment table. I mean, I'm, it expands on it a bit in the Advanced Player's Guide, but the, the, the ones where it's an entire chapter, you're, you're just flipping and flipping and flipping and flipping and flipping. And then, yeah, that's where it falls in the situation with Gus, where it's just like, yeah, no, this this is this is three hours of stuff that, you know, do that on your own time. While you guys are doing that, I'm going to go grab a water. I'll be right back. Oh, you know what I'll say. <laughs> I don't need to buy uh, clothes, do I? I, I, I no. do come with some no, clothes, no. right? I think no, Brax, yeah. O only James needs to buy clothes. <laughs> okay. Because he does. Them. <laughs> if you're trying to make a good impression, you might need some glad rags. If you're going to be famous one day, you've got to look the part. No. Fake it until you make it. So I technically can make uh, homing arrows. Nice for for archers. Yeah. <sighs> you see, I, I said I hate shopping. I never know what to get. I'm gonna buy a bar for the inn. Just, <laughs> just gonna Carry have a bar with you. Just have a no. That I have a bath at an inn that I own. Is there more shit in the player's guide? There is a little yes. bit. Yeah. Just to make it more time-consuming. Smoke bombs, nice. You can buy masks. Okay. Sorry, James, if this is not a, a evocative material for for your channel, but yeah, but people were always interested in watching characters be made. So you know, uh, in fact, okay. a lot of my most popular videos are character creation videos. So you know, okay. I'll be honest with you, I like them, uh, especially mm -hmm. if you're learning a new system. Right. Uh, it's a lot easier if you you get the book and while people are doing the creation, flick along with them and you know, yeah, do it yourself. Uh, I find it a lot easier than just trying to do it from the book. Right. Um, yeah, this. Good. I mean, this falls into. I mean, stand. I mean, if, if if we were all at a, at a table right now, this would kind of be how it, it's gone with the other games. Uh, it's 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 you know, it's a lot of here's this reference this oh, God. this because I mean, it's I, I've read through this book once and I'm making another pass through and still things just kind of whoosh, just just melt out. And that's that may have to do with just I'm just involved in way too many games. My my brain can only hold so much. I think, I think it's also an age thing, but you know. I was about to say it's the joy of getting older, Scott. That's what happens to us. Well, I mean, at, at least when I when I leave this mortal coil, it will be with a full head of hair. But you know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can put I can give myself a full head of hair. Where is uh -oh. it? Where is it? Here come here comes uh, <clears throat> Spock again. Do that a week. Week. I use. I use that term. The most lightest, like, definition. It looks like a brown candle melted on his head. I think if that's the one you're talking about. <laughs> Look, when I brought when I when I saw the ad, right? It was like it looked like actual hair rather than like a plastic skull cap. Oh, I believe you. <laughs> Somebody paid money to advertise that. Well, I yeah. mean, it clearly worked. Yeah, I, I thought, hey, that's a really cheap-looking wig. I'll get that. 
<laughs> really cheap, yep. And then what turned up wasn't what I what I saw in the picture. All right, I I can't afford anything else, so I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to buy some bagpipes and walk through dungeons playing bagpipes and a person on a drum. Because uh, I can't, because in the in um, excavation tools, but they're ten Falma, fa, fa, Fowler, so I won't. I'm not going to buy that because that's like it's too expensive, and it gives me a bonus to my fine treasure in the ruins of the world. Right. So that's something so that I'll probably want to get at some point. But yeah, I, I haven't spent any. Well, unless you want, unless you're going to charge me for a backpack, and then I'll buy a backpack. No, that, that that would be something that that you that would come with. All right. Well, that's, then I've and then I've true. just I've just all I've done is I've just brought, got some bits that would work with the mm -hmm. character. Okay. Oh, and my mistake. Um, let's see here. It, it, I may have uh, given a bit of wrong information. It may have been Philippe or Danny. If if you if you don't have a weapon ability, uh, I, I think it falls under accurate. Is what yeah. you'll be rolling for. So. Yeah, yeah, I'll fix it. Great. Yeah, but I, I do have because I have marks mark. Right, yeah, exactly. I, I don't, I don't have it. Yeah. yeah, but I'll probably won't use it at all. So. Well, you'll you'll have you'll have your sheep attack. Do we? Uh, <laughs> now, now the most important thing. Now, people who are watching this, I guarantee you, the most important thing they're going to want to know is what is the sheep's name? <laughs> Kevin. Kevin. No, let's give it an Ambry and appropriate name. All right, uh, Sean. Let's see, uh, uh breakfast, and it, lunch? And it, it is not ox, so uh, it is not uh, a male sheep, it's female. So. Okay, oh, okay, Sean. Uh, we'll just call it Booner because <laughs> that's what it's going to get castled into a lamb Booner. <laughs> so, so looking ahead, uh, as far as the um, the group aspect is concerned. Sir, and one of the things that they like to do is, you know, obviously there's a group goal, but for the, the, the establishment of this game is essentially establish, establishing you guys coming together. Um, since some of you are native and some of you are coming, uh, those of you who came over to help the, um, uh, you know, help the refugees get over, you could be established there for a bit, thus bringing your group together. Otherwise, you can let the inception of it and the completion of the initial story be the creation of your group. can leave it up to you. Uh, because one of the aspects, of course, that you'll draw upon for potential experience points is not just your personal goal, but also the group goal. Uh, so, and if you accomplish that goal, we create another one. So, and um, Do we have personal... But, uh, do we come up with personal goals as well, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Well, that might be something worth doing off air, and maybe right. just and like if we do want to come up with a group thing, maybe it's something worth discussing in the chat in the Discord, chatting about right. it, and like yeah. offering suggestions, and we can mm -hmm. make the decision when we come back. Like we can make the decision during like the next two weeks. Right. And then when we start, we can go, well, the group goal is this and this, and our mm -hmm. personal goals are this. And maybe right. just, like, make sure that we, like, you know, communicate in it and discuss what we want rather than, like, it, if that I, makes any sense. Yeah, right. I, I would suggest uh, as it's we've established, it's a very law-heavy setting. Mm -hmm. And I don't think any of us at the moment, player-wise... I've got a, a firm grasp on the law. So I do. With a, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I've read through the, you know, the setting material a few times, yeah. but uh, so to come up with a group goal, mm -hmm. I think it would be quite difficult uh, without taking into account the actual law and the setting. I think I think it's so we'd have to come up with something kind of fairly generic to start yeah. with the first yeah. goal. Just like, and I don't... get revealed we can say well actually this is quite interesting we might want to investigate that and make that the goal now, if just... i if if i understand right the premise of the adventure is that we are bringing some refugees is that the premise of the first adventure correct so, so yeah so, so essentially so a group goal could be to have as many alive 
refugees. <laughs> uh, get, get you to the other side of the Titans. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. I mean, and, and that that's way. that's perfect. I mean, so so just a there's a brief breakdown, you know, in regards to, uh, you know, where you guys. Are. So you, you, when the game begins, you guys are going to be south of the Titans, and you'll be in a caravan camp. Uh, stragglers looking for traveling companions to accompany them on a journey over the mountains. Uh, so this is going to introduce the mood, basic rules of combat. Uh, also, you'll be given a reason for why you're leaving the South. So that would definitely be something that you'd want to think about, but it's, it would be introduced within the game and hints of what you're heading for. So, th so that's going to be the first chapter. So definitely something to think about, but uh, and, and decide upon. But it, it will be introduced within the aspect of the first chapter of the game. So, okay. Uh, but that's just a you know general. I mean, you know, for those like 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 Jay Wall's character. I mean, you know, he's there to assist. You know, so um, you know why he's south and why he's heading over. More so the, the you know the the you know the refugees that are or or the ones who are coming from the south. You know, those are ones that would have a different, you know, why are you going type scenario. So, mm. but, um, but yeah, that, that, that's something that can be discussed off offline because it's, like I said, this particular game is designed to help you guys. And so there are little hints and things that we can touch on uh, then that will, if you run into any roadblocks, but, but generally speaking, the lore, it's, it's like any other game where I fall victim to that, like, like RuneQuest, for example. Um, I you know, I spent so much time. So I, just, I don't just know this Ring to... Quest game you speak of. Yeah, well, I mean, I spent so much time trying to absorb the lore, where I find myself forgetting that I need to learn how to play the game too. So, um, uh, so just the basic, you know, you know, just concentrate on why you guys are getting over. Why you're either why did you come over the mountains to assist refugees coming, or why are you? What's drawing you over the mountains to the other side? Know, to leave your homeland type thing did you want a background do you want a character background as well do you want like at least a that, touch touching base on a character background maybe i mean if you can do it on a uh, hundred words or less a basic that would be great also I'll give um, you i mean a i'm, I'm not gonna be a stickler but yeah it's we're not talking 5e uh you know 80 page pdf background scenario it's just a, a general oh i mean you know, like that? you know general background you know i am this because of that and i want to accomplish this kind of one, thing so one, one page background I'll yeah one 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 page or a half uh okay. another question i have for you like uh -huh. what's your expectation as a game master what do you expect from us like, oh from you guys oh <clears throat> <sighs> Let's see. I've played with some of you. I've watched some of you. Others, I, I ignore his requests on Discord all the time. Um, so as far as my, my general expectations, because this is a good question, because this is something I've never really, I don't really bring up. Probably probably because I most of the ones that I've played for outside of them, I've just known them forever. So you kind of get lazy in that regards. But um, to to try try to embrace the lore of the game as you guys are discovering the world around you i know that might sound a little cliche but this that's kind of like this game this this you guys are existing in their pre-established lore there are a lot of things that you're going to discover and meld you know the the adage of like you know this is going to be your simba room or in regards to other games but um, you know, be aware that uh, there are established uh, structures, hierarchies within the game uh, that um, that could detrimentally damage the uh, the focus of the group. Uh, you know, if, if if you fall outside of line of these things, uh, but I mean, it's to have fun and enjoy the game. I mean, to to try to, you know, you know, you are in a dark fantasy in a world where corruption is all around you, you're trying to eke out a resist an existence the best you can. Uh, but the, 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 the world, certain things within the world are going to open up to you as you travel through it. That may change the perception of your character. Um, okay. but, 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 but essentially create, you know, like with any, create a group, establish your group. Um, you know, no, Try not to have any edge lords here, uh, you know. Soul, uh, you know, singular people who like to hide in the shadows with the cloak over their head, uh, smoking a cigarette, and you know, with the curtains drawn, and 
Wait, okay, sorry. Fuck uh, off. But, uh, I'm not an edgelord. No. But, um, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't... I guess I don't have any perceived... I've never really thought about that too hard. I don't really have any perceived expectation, expectations other than... Be honest with me, you know, if you guys aren't, if, if I'm not providing a game to you that you're enjoying, you know, let me know. I mean, if we have discussions after the fact, bring things up. If I make a mistake, let me know. Um, and because this is a, uh, oh, and, and, and in case you're not aware, I'm not rolling dice. You guys are rolling 100% of the dice. So, you know, the, the outcomes that I provide due to your dice, dice rolls um, are going to be adjudicated just on that. But if, if my description of what's going on uh doesn't reflect the roles that you have please let me know because it's going to be a little bit different if i'm not this is the first game i'll be i'm, I'm playing that isn't a is a gm list dice rolling uh scenario so the interpretation i may get from your dice roll is something that i'll need to focus on uh rather than just focusing on the outcome of what i'm rolling for so um cool. but yeah i mean it's have fun i guess and em, em, embrace your darker side you know, it, it's this, it, you know, this is, this is, you know, look at the artwork. I mean, it's gloomy. It's shat, it's, you know, shadows and fog and it's cold and, you know, uh, goblins live what, 10 years, 20 years at most. So oh. there's, there's, there's always Fort, that. 40 at most. But, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's so a, there's that. It's extremely old goblin. <laughs> yeah. So that's looming over your head constantly, you know. Uh, well, I can you know, imagine. The, the, I can imagine uh -huh. humans not living that particularly much longer than that anyway. <laughs> Life expectancy uh, in the Dark Ages was considerably less than what it is now. Uh, well, well, here's a question. I mean, just since, since I'm kind of, like I said, new to that particular aspect. Like, for example, Danny or James, what's, what's, an, what's an answer you provided when, when you have an expectation for your group? That, that well, might I, expect, help kind of... I want everyone to have fun. Um, mm -hmm. If we're going to use safety tools, then this is the best oh. time to explain if we're going to use any safety tools. Okay. Um, the other thing is, uh, you know, as players, you, uh, as a GM, I expect, uh, you know, as the G as you as the GM, I expect fair ab uh, arbitration. Arbi okay. Arbi um, and yeah, just basically for everyone to have fucking f everyone to have fun and you okay. Know, Enjoy but, but, themselves. Yeah, for me, for me, similar is like, you know, like everybody tries to, you know, to make the fun on the table. It's not mm -hmm. just the game master. Yeah. But, but often when I have my games, I, I do expect from my players to know their characters, to uh, <coughs> dive into lore, for example. Mm -hmm. um, so, so it can vary, but, uh, so I wanted to hear what you expect for so, you know. So that's a good point. Diving into lore within the game. I don't expect any of you to to go back and do homework. But just within the aspect of the game, just just embrace that. So I mean it, Oh, it, you know. I mean one of my expectations as a player is to like learn the lore of the land or the lore of the setting as we play, if that makes any mm -hmm. sense. So like as yes. we go along we can learn bits and find bits out and like go oh wow because i think half of this game is like it's similar to like uh, oh scott's scott's having to talk to his son or daughter or his wife i thought he's two um yeah like like um like mutant year zero is about exploring the um environment and i i guess this is a similar like because of the, <coughs> the hex yeah. the hex map in front of us i expect that a lot of it will be us exploring mm -hmm. the surroundings so yeah, as long as things are interesting and, and and enjoyable, that's all I care about really as a player. And that everyone's having fun. The thing I the thing I don't want and I try and avoid at all times is that players trying to screw over players. That's 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 the least my least favourite thing to ever happen. Because it always ends in bad feelings and hurt and people being hurt. Yes, J Wall. To be fair though, that was uh, all part of the game, and it would have been boring without it. But yeah, you, you didn't really screw me over; you just shot me. <laughs> I like you, Liz. So, so in regards to that, I mean, the, the general mechanics of the game master. Um, do you prefer, like, when the game is over? Do you prefer to hang out and kind of recap a couple things? Do you prefer? Would you rather do a Discord? Would you like a a, a 
journal kind of uh, updating the aspect of each session so you well, have something to reference to so well I I mean, since we are since we're playing once a month it, it is good if we right. have some continuity with recaps right okay I, I mean once a month it, it makes hard sometimes I I mean, I don't know. As a game master, I always remember things, you know, right. like even if months passes. But as a player, mm -hmm. I notice that players forget faster. Uh, so, I mean, huh. as a, a game master, as opposed to a, a player, <coughs> I, I sometimes notice players see things differently. Mm -hmm. So if you get players to do a recap, yeah. They often see things in a different light, and you're like, ah, they've took it that way. So as a, right. a GM, you can get just as much out of a, a recap as right. players can sometimes. I, I think re in regards to the, the inner workings, I mean, if you guys start getting involved in the, um, uh, you know, the hierarchy of the royalty and some of the machinations mm -hmm. of the things within that, that can get a little mm -hmm. sticky. So definitely we would want to keep tabs on that, um, you know, because... Once it get, if it does get all Game of Thrones, you know, everyone wants to make sure that they know where everything's going in regards to that. Um, but yeah, there, there's a, there's a lot of, um, <clears throat> uh, oh God, there was one other thing I was going to ask you. Um, oh, well, it'll come to me. But yeah, so I mean, yeah, it's so, oh, that's right. So the game takes, the, the, the aspect of the game, of course, is similar to other things where it's, it's scene related. So we, there, you know, the, a lot of the the minor details will gloss over. Likewise, if something comes up between sessions that may not be something that's necessary for the stream, uh, if it's something that can be done on the Discord scene wise, I can leave that up to you guys. I well, mean, if, if if there's like a minor thing, just like yeah, you know, what would yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah. Exactly, you know, but you know, behind the scenes role playing that kind of thing that you know wouldn't necessarily need to be. Uh, we don't have to waste time during this during the session to to go over certain things like that so uh it might be worth like i could set up or you could set up or whatever mm -hmm. it might be worth setting up a google docs for the note taking so that everyone can like assist in taking notes of yep. the game um I, but but i mean the i mean the benefit of it being recorded that we have a recording of what happened before so yes. if people do forget and can't remember Go check the videos out. That that's yeah. the best way. Just go watch what happened, and and you can figure it out. I mean, I'm not very good at like, <clears throat> I'm not very good at note taking. In fact, I'm appallingly bad at it. Um, but um, but yeah, if, if we can all assist and try and do something and mm -hmm. keep records of it, because it is going to be like, it is going to be like months, like almost a month right. between each session. Mm -hmm. we're going to need to keep like the note taking relatively good if that makes sense mm -hmm. relatively good yeah so I'll, I'll i'll set that up and send it out to you guys and if you have any suggestions or add-ons to that we can we can just take it from that point but yeah that's that's that would definitely be fantastic because you, you are world building as you go along i mean the the world is existing uh there's established lore but depending on where your past take you um you know things will change it's very well anyone who's familiar with forbidden lands it's kind of similar to that aspect there's that whole we're hunting for treasure we're exploring we're doing and as we do this the land will change we don't have stickers to stick on the map but, but things will and can change depending on you know the paths you guys go so um, um oh, so mm -hmm. when i was like scrolling through the book earlier it did mention about um map map combat and shit like that how mm -hmm. how 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 did you want to handle combat? And if, uh, if we're doing map, go if we're going to do a map co combat, do you want us to yes. provide like images for our characters so you can make some tokens? That would be awesome. I was I've I've had some tokens just prepped, just generic ones. But yeah, I mean, if if you this one has a wondrous world of of art uh, <laughs> that you can draw from. Uh, but yeah, if you want to make your own tokens, the the only and this is more of a personal nitpicky thing is to keep within the, it doesn't have to be the same exact art, but within the same feeling. Cause I've had some tokens pop up, you know, when I let people make their own, I mean, I'm just like, all right. I mean, uh, does anyone know who the the uh, character carrot or the comedian carrot top is? 
Yeah. So someone someone has their token as a shirtless carrot top as a barbarian. I'm just like, oh, God. so I've got to look at this, you know, week after week and just takes you right out of the game kind of thing. Yeah. So, but I mean, that's that's a personal thing. So but I mean, yeah, yeah. All right, well, token. Well, uh -huh. So so um, so what I suggest, Scott, OK, mm -hmm. so rather than getting everyone else to make their tokens, everyone mm -hmm. just like find an image of their character and then yep. provide you the image of the character and then Perfect. you make then you can choose on how the token looks and mean me or danny can link you to the token thing that we use because it's it's quite good isn't it danny yeah I've, it's i've got the, it's the website the token maker token or whatever sub. it is token sub yeah so so yeah so i mean and yeah the the, the all of all of their games provide um combat maps so combat will be taking place on a map with tokens that kind of thing because mo movement um is a part of the game uh, it's not, well, if you it's want, not a huge I mean, stickler, but, but 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 it is. I mean, between myself and Danny, I think we've got loads of like battle map mm -hmm. shit that you can use. Like I've got, well, I've only got jungle really, jungle and desert. Right. But you know, right. it could yeah, quite so, easily. Yeah, it just it just dis hard, but it just there disappears. You, you can kind of see it there. So the adventure does have a couple combat maps with distance notated on there. But as mm -hmm. with all things, it's not the maps that the adventures provide. It's always the random adventures or things in between where you suddenly like, oh shit, I need a map of you know uh, uh, the side of a temple in a desert. That kind yeah, of I've got a load of um, oh, what was it called? What's that? Camp? They do like they do like squares, and you can like put them together and make whatever. I forget what they're called. Hmm. And I've That's got like, like I've got the Conan a... game. They, they they have that too. Hex, hex meter or something like that. So. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I got a bunch of maps. Yeah. <laughs> See, heroic maps, I think is what it's called. Yeah, I've got heroic maps. So, yeah, I can I can provide you some of that. It is, I have got, ju it's mainly jungles. So, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm sure you can just like squint it a little bit differently and it will be a, a, a forest. You know what I mean? Yeah, that... I mean, what I'd realistically, what is the difference between a forest and a jungle apart from the foliage? <clears throat> um. <laughs> <laughs> The animals that live there, the temperatures, yeah. but uh, all right, a lot of all right. Well, yeah, okay, if you want to pick holes in it. <laughs> so, okay. so, so to recap, just a couple of things that that we we're gonna you know leave to the side to determine offline. It's just gonna be personal goals, um, the the group goal aspect, um, you know, imagery. You know, if if you find something to represent your character. Uh, obviously, if you're wanting to change aspects of it beforehand, that's fine. Uh, the only other thing on the sheet that notates there are friends and companions. Uh, you know, those could be if you if you wanted to take care of your contact, James. Um, likewise, that yeah. includes you guys. I'm going to do that like, in my. I'll do that like as a additional thing, like a background, and I'll I'll, I'll probably discuss like I've got some ideas. Like maybe this person is already has already left to the promised lands or whatever and has already established himself. So maybe right. at first I don't, you know, maybe I can run into him when we get, when we get to civilize, well, whatever his civilization is. Right. And then, and within reason, you know, it's it, it, the occupation is not a, you know, a uh, horribly wealthy benefactor who gives me anything I want, you know, so within, uh, within reason. So, but uh, let's see, and that's pretty much the, the, the general aspect. Uh, as far as the questions on how the game is run, I mean, it's, you, you may have read it. It's, it's, it's a roll under but with a 20 sided um, and you guys do all the rolling. So, and then as far as it's, it's roll under for certain skills. And then if something needs to be opposed, you're rolling under, um, you know, you're rolling, you know, under a certain thing with pluses or uh, negative modifiers to it. It's fairly simplified as far as the rolling mechanics are concerned. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think that about covers it. So, um, any questions? No. Have we uh, uh -huh. started on a session one date? Yes. I think the yes. last Sunday this month. It is going to be. The Just so I can make sure I'm off work. Yeah. 26 of this 26. month. 26. Okay. To what are we having? But it won't be it won't be this time, right? This will be your standard times huh? in the evening, or? Yeah, it will be seven. So it'll be seven p.m. BST, bullshit okay. time. Um. 
you uh which for you would be 11 a.m yes mm -hmm. so See yeah so, so just just try and be on like so just be trying people try and get here about half hour beforehand all right uh just so Excellent. that i can set get get everything set up and be ready to go um hopefully the reformat of my hard drive may fix the issue of my internet connection but if it doesn't then I'll get, I'll have to like get the old man to get on to talk talk and find out what's going on. Um, I don't know if I can phone yeah. on his behalf because he's not here at the moment, but the data protection will probably be like no. But I don't yeah. know if I can like contact them to find out like why is the internet being so unstable. <clears throat> but yeah. Oh, what one other thing to note is if, if you wouldn't mind just giving me a heads up if you do decide on once you've figured out your 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 goal or background. If we're not doing it in like a group chat or something, just let me know, just well, so I can apply it to certain opening aspects of the adventure. Well, we're doing so. the dis. We'll do it in the Discord, and and okay. we can and 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 I suggest that people will help each other as well, and like right. offer suggestions, and 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 like maybe some of our characters can interwind our like some of yeah. our goals together if that is if that's possible. E um, everyone's goal is to have mutton by Sunday. Um. <laughs> They just they just didn't tell uh tell the goblin about it. So. Nope. I don't know. Okay. I have to leave now. Nice. All right. Well, that is it. So, um, I'm not going to do any shout outs because we're not on on air. So, right. uh, yeah. Thank you all for making your characters. Thank you, Scott, for mm -hmm. taking us through this. It was a bit of a yeah. bit of a bit of a chore, Looking but forward. what's what's Looking that, Danny? Looking forward to play. Looking forward. Yes. To no. Play. I'm I'm excited. This this. To me, it's just like this is neat and everything, but let's let's get into the game, yeah. you know. So let me close that. But yeah, uh, then, I, oh. I hope I'm a good player too. I don't know if I'm a good player. I, oh. I don't have the experience this side of the game. Well, it's not you Warhammer, know. so you know. Yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, the the world itself here. It's very it's very Warhammer esque. So I think you're kind of halfway there. So don't even don't even worry about it. And, you know, likewise, we always have our private chats after we sign off to talk about James and that other Discord, so. Yes. Oh, shit. I was supposed to say that after. <laughs> Comedian. <laughs> Comedian. Comedian. Yeah. Brilliant. All right. Well, all right. thank you all for watching, and we'll see you right. in a couple of weeks. Bye. Excellent.